Welcome back. In this video, we are going to start building this project. So we are going to take it step by step. So first thing is we are going to work on the nav bar here by utilizing most of the component in Material UI. So let's get started. Um, inside the project, so before we continue, let's do some housekeeping. We don't need the app.css file, so let me trash it. We also don't need app.test. We are not going to do any, any test cases in this application, so let me trash it. And I also don't need the index.css file. I don't need it. And I don't need the report.vital. All right, so our application is going to be crashed down, but don't worry, we are going to fix it. So let's check the application and see what we have. There we go. So let's go to the index.css where we have the most of the files that we have deleted. We, are, we have deleted the reported vitals, the index, and this one too. Let's remove everything from here. And I don't want to work in the street mode, so I'll remove that and save it. Check it out. Let's refresh the application, and there we go. So the first component we are going to use is the CSS baseline. So as you can see here, that we have some margin around it so next is let's go to the component and start working on so the first component we are going to use is called css baseline so let's quickly search for that and css baseline component provide a component that's going to be allow us to have a consistency across our application so if you have used normal css before unless we do what is called um, reset the global um, properties by using normalized CSS, right? So instead of normalized CSS, we are going to use CSS baseline to remove the default pattern and margin from our application. So where you need to import it is at the root of your application, right? Index or CSS file. That's where we are rendering. So let's require that component called CSS baseline. So CSS baseline as that. So let's render it inside this component and now check it out. Let's refresh it and you see that we don't have margin and pattern. Okay. So next is let's go through the project and see what we need. For this, it means that we need our bar for this. So let me show you how I'm gonna use the app bar for this project, right? So let's quickly search for the app bar component. So let's click on that and you can see that for the outbar component, we have a couple of um, default styling. For example, the basic outbar, we also have the outbar with primary search and we also have the outbar with menu. So if this is what you want, sorry, right if this is what you want in your application, then you can use this one. We also have a couple of style based on your need. All right, so let's quickly utilize the basic one. So after going through how to use the basic one, we can make use of any of this component. So let's check the source code for this project, for this number. So at the first glance, we see that it looks a little bit scary, but don't worry, that is why you are here for this tutorial of course all right so let's go back to the project and let's see what we can do all right so let's get going before that let's structure our project right so let's create for this year one gonna be the component right and i also need i also need the what do you call it playground there are some components that need us to be play around with it before we can make use of it. So the first folder we are going to create here is called navbar for that. 
and then we also need header components sorry our custom header but don't worry we will come back to that so let's start work on the nav bar all right the nav bar so let's quickly create nav bar here dot js and i'm going to use a snippet called rafce because i have this extension being installed called es7 es6 um this snippet right the extension so because of that i can make use of this syntax to make it my life easier rafce and hit enter so for now let's just return some h1 and call this one now all right so let's quickly go ahead and then render that now bar here now bar all right now bar yeah have the auto import so instead of this ugly button here let's replace our button with the nav bar check it out and now we have it all right so by default it has the pattern and margin that is from the the div itself right because by default div also have the default styling in h1 so let's go ahead and quickly you quickly use our components so first of all let's remove this one and then import our bar at the root of our project so up bar from material ui okay like that so here i'm gonna be up bar not this one like this one okay so let's bring react at the top and the subsequent import will be below all right so now we have the up bar right so first thing first let's see what we have by default this is what we have we have even though we didn't apply any color to it but by default we have this primary color being applied because primary color is the default one and if you want to change the color you need to pass in a couple of props that you need all right so now that we have the r bar the next one the reason why you're using the r bar is that you want to have the default style you see we have the shadow right we have the shadow beneath it and we have the pad margin as that okay cool so next is let's also re render what is called two bar okay so two bar here let's also require the two bar here as that let me see two bar and the two bar also render as that and in between the two bar we can place whatever you want here so let's call this one um h1 let me call this one for the first time logo and now we see so the two bar give us a margin of the text i place inside right so let's check it out and see let's continue on the process this one as you can see here they have a button right so before we can place any button here unless you install an icon right so let's quickly open this one in a new tab and then let's search for icon and let's see how the installation is also being done for icons so let me show you how i'm going to use icons in your project right so material ui comes with a couple of libraries that we can use a library with icons that you can use in your project one we have what is called the material icons and if you scroll down to here you also have a couple of um this material you are style and we have spg icon you see the color the size of it and many more all right so you can also make use of font awesome also but in what case let's make our life easy and let's use the material this material icon so if you look at this this is how you're going to use it right so let's install the package by copying this snippet and let's get back to our terminal here and then let me open this terminal in a different window so that i can install other packages as we proceed so let me paste it it means i didn't copy it well so copy that and then let's come back to the terminal and paste so what's installing we cannot wait let's continue so let's look at the usage all what you need 
is what import the icon that you need from the material icons right and that's all what you need and we can import it option two you can import couple of icons from here so if you look at the directory for this one let's open it and you can see that we have a couple of style of the material based on the style you want so you can outline you can also have the rounded and other styles the style based on your need okay so let's see what we need we need the menu if you look at this one they use a menu icon so if you check and then let's search for menu right if you search for menu here you can see that this is what they use you can use the rounded or filled or sharp or tone based on your need so i think it's okay so if you click on that we have the component here so all you need is copy that and then let's come back to our project where we are working on the nav bar here and then let's paste it because this menu icon is not from material ui but from different package right so there we go so let's render that component over here as menu outline icon right so let's quickly copy that and save it if you save this one now let's check it out let's refresh the project i think yeah let's you see that now we have it but we don't have that ripple effect for the final one if you look at this one you see that we have the ripple effect so to have that ripple effect unless you wrap that component inside an icon button so that we can give it a margin and pardon the icon button is also from where material ui icon sorry material ui so we can quickly import that from here as what icon button so the purpose for the icon button is to give it some styling the ripple effect margin and pardon so let's paste let's re render the icon button here let's render that icon button here and place our icon inside so let's save it and let's check it out now you can see that you see we have that ripple effect right cool so now we can up we can apply our class names to that to make it white or bigger okay so that's all what we need so to know more about the what prop it takes this one takes you go to the component the r bar and like i showed you in the previous video that you can come you can scroll down here <coughs> so at the bottom of the page we have the app api so click on that and you can see that these are the api it takes we can give it a color so let's quickly add a color to the number so the out bar so give it a color and the color are the primary color or secondary color by default is primary color so let's give it a secondary color for the out bar and let's see what it has for us we see that we have the pink color like that that's secondary color so we can customize this one by making use of theming and we'll talk about theming in the upcoming videos all right so now that we have it let's go ahead and if you don't want see that these are the props it takes i will talk about the ss property this is more than in the material r5 and assuming that you don't want to have the, this styling the elevation here all what we need is under the upper you provide what is called elevation because this component is from the paper component right so if you provide elevation zero you're not going to have that you see that that elevation is gone so the higher the value the higher the shadow or the elevation of the component now you see that we have it so let me turn it off and put it to zero so if you want to have shadow you can do that okay so next is if you look at the what they are working on here let me go to the component where is my yeah yes let's open the code next is so after they added the menu icon here next is they add in the typography 
Right, so typography is going to help us to display a text based on the size. So if you search for typography, this typography is a component that has default styling. So all what you need is passing, we have H1, we have the heading, we have the H2, H3, H4, H5, subtitle, subtitle 2. And if that's what we need, all what we need is what? Import the component and then provide the prop. And that's all what we need. So if you scroll down, let's look at the API for that. As you can see, we can position the text by providing an align, central, justify, left or right. And the component has got a bottom, no wrap, and paragraph SX is really important. And the variance, the variance determines the type of, I mean, um, size of the text you want. H1 is the highest, the biggest, and the up, and the preceding ones as that. So let's go, go to the now button here so after we place our toolbar here in after the icon button here let's bring in typography right so let's import the typography as that and then let's say home for now let's say home so you provide home as that there you go right we can also style the icon here so i'll talk about styling in the in, in the next video so you see that we have home, but if you provide a variant of let's say H1, gonna be the biggest. You see, provide H2 and as that. You see that this is what we have. Alright, so now that we know um how the two bar and up bar work, the next video we are continuing from here.